for those of you new to this and have no idea what I'm talking about, we have a Ford straight six 300 engine that we are making a cylinder head for out of LS heads, Chevy heads. That's right. Please put down the pitchforks. So if you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen the videos I've posted as shorts on the hybrid 300 cylinder head that we're currently working on. This is the video to get you caught up to speed on what's actually going on. It's not a how-to video per se. We'll do that once the engine is actually running. But this is just to get you caught up on what we've actually been doing on the head and how it's coming along. I've uh, recorded quite a bit of footage uh, for the project and I finally managed to get around to cutting it down into something palatable. So this is it. Hope you enjoy. Please leave comments, like, sub, and subscribe. That's all of them, right? And uh, if you want to see more. So anyway, on to the video. Hi everybody. Welcome to the channel. Are you ready to see something really interesting? Me cutting up these heads. And to be honest, it's not going that great. But we'll get to that later. So what have I learned cutting these heads? Well, check your saw. This saw was so far out of whack that I had to stop and start the saw too many times. This head almost came out too short. Luckily I cut it long to begin with, but quarter line. We're cutting this one extra long. Make sure we have enough metal where I want it. We'll see how she goes. Stay tuned, fellas. As you can see, both the heads are cut. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to set the saw up. Kinda goes you know, beyond this video. All I use is some squares and whatnot. The first head I cut did not cut square at all. Uh, that was my fault. But the second one, after I got the hang of it, got all the kinks worked out, so I'll cut beautifully. But so important, if you guys want me to go into it, I, mean, I can, but anywho. So as you can see, like I said, both the heads are cut. I got the same here, I got the gasket on top of it. This gasket's pretty messed up. So I got a new gasket. And we're going to use that to uh, square up the boards of the gasket to the boards of the chambers. We got to slot these holes, start moving it over here a little bit. So anyway, we're going to get uh, this head gasket, new one, laid out on here. And see how it looks. All right, so here's a new gas laid out on here. And like the goal is this chamber centered on this one. And we gotta get this chamber centered on this one. And as you can see, this half is pretty far off. So we're gonna take this over to my buddies and we're gonna put it up on his uh, end mill they got. And we're gonna start taking material off and uh, square these up and uh, get these lined up. And then we can uh, get around to welding. So while the head is off getting uh, machined, uh, we're going to get the sort of this block cleaned up uh, to get the head bolted to it when it comes back. And I got this uh, little chaser tap to clean up these holes for the head stud that I bought. So we're going to do that, and uh, we're going to have these heads bolted on soon. All right. After scraping it, you can see the cutter marks from the last time this deck was surfaced. It's kind of neat. Alright, so we got the deck all cleaned off. I'm going to run this chaser tap I bought. Through all these holes. Get ready for the studs. Meanwhile... So here is the finished product after machining and cutting it. Fits pretty well. We don't got any of the head studs in yet. We still have to do that. But looks great. Looks like it's supposed to be there. We can't wait to finish this up. Next step is to start oblonging the holes to get the head studs to fit. All right. So we have a 300 hybrid head sitting out here before us. And right, we got to finish breaking it down, getting all the springs and the valves out. So we're going to take it up to the local machine shop and have them hot take it to get it as clean as we can. So I guess we'll do that right now. So we'll get these valves out. And we'll pull the valve 
outfield. And we have one more thing to do before we take them to get cleaned. We have to. What's what I'm looking for here? Well, this video to show you. These holes being this close is ridiculous. That's where I cut it, but like, it's just basically a straight shot there. That one's almost perfect. Like, just a little touch up work. You're gonna fit right on. And the gasket doesn't overhang into the chamber anywhere. It's great. She's getting there. <laughs> 